Hey there, Terry here. Welcome back to our series on avoiding money traps and achieving financial freedom. Today, let's talk about the dangerous cycle of being house poor or car poor and how the keeping up with the Joneses mentality can lead to financial instability. You see, many people fall into the trap of overspending on housing or vehicles to maintain a certain image or lifestyle even if it means stretching their finances to the breaking point. But here's the harsh truth. Living beyond your means can have serious consequences. So how do you know how much is too much when it comes to this stuff? Lending institutions will often use the 2836 rule for debt to income ratio as a gauge of your financial health. It's a pretty simple formula and one that you can use easily on your calculator on your phone to know where you stand, even if you aren't seeking to borrow right now. It's good practice to occasionally check to see where you stand. The basis of the rule says that your total monthly housing expenses should not exceed 28% of your gross monthly income, while your total monthly debt obligations should not surpass 36% of your gross monthly income. So let's break it down with an example. Imagine you earn $5,000 a month as your gross pay before anything comes out. It's typically the first line on your pay stub. According to the 2836 rule, your housing expenses, including mortgage or rent, property taxes, HOA or condo fees, and insurance should not exceed $1,400 a month. Looking at the bigger debt picture of 36%, your total debt payments, including all that housing stuff that we just covered, Car loans, credit card debt, student loans, and any other loans that you have should not exceed $1,800 a month. So go ahead and run your own numbers and see how you compare on the 2836 rule. It's important to know. So, okay, what happens if you're over those limits? It could be a reason that you find yourself struggling to make ends meet. Maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck and unable to save for the future. To help get yourself back to a healthy debt to income ratio, you might think about a debt consolidation loan or even downsizing or eliminating that car that has a loan attached. You could also look at finding a way to increase your income with a different job or adding passive income to the mix. Whatever you do, it's important to create a comprehensive spending plan that prioritizes your lifestyle spending, your savings goals, and charitable giving goals. And here's where my partnership with Monarch Money comes in. With their powerful planning tools, you can create a personalized spending plan tailored to your financial goals and track your progress really easily. Plus, with our exclusive offer, you can enjoy an extended 30-day free trial to get started today. Remember, managing your finances wisely is not just about numbers. It's also about faith. As stewards of God's resources, it's our responsibility to make financial decisions and honor him in our financial choices. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and build a brighter financial future, click the link in my bio to access your free trial with Monarch Money. Let's get started on this journey together and make wise financial choices that honor God and secure our future. Be blessed. Do good stuff today. And I'll see you tomorrow.